Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more uh, F122 online. It looks like we've got the Hungarian Grand Prix next. Uh, 13 of us in the lobby. Uh, one shot qualifying, 18 laps. Uh, that'll be uh, interesting to say the least. Keeps updating the lobby, but it's not making me ready up, so it must be big updates, whatever he's doing. Currently 13 in the lobby, 9 of which have readied up. Just now waiting uh, for that counter to count down, I think. Again, it's just a one-shot qualifying and 18 laps. All cars are equal performance. 18 laps means like if you get taken out on the first lap, you at least have some chance to uh, recover. Hungarian Grand Prix. I think this is another track I'm not the best at. There's a lot of them, I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, it's the one with the curbs, isn't it? If you can stay off the curbs, you're okay. And obviously on the first lap, try and stay out of trouble. But yeah, just waiting now to get this started, get into qualifying, see what uh, position we can qualify as, and then jump into the race and see where we can go from there, really. There's a couple of people slow in this uh, lobby in terms of uh, loading, in, load, uh, loading in. I can't speak anymore. Three people are still trying to load in. Right, well, uh, obviously in a qualifying session, it's just a one shot straight onto the soft compound tyres. It's definitely all or nothing. I think the race, uh, the weather set on um, random, but the qualifying session is going to dry, so that's summer. It's been a long time since I've done a wet race, I think, so hopefully it won't be one of them because I don't think I'll do too well. Just because I'm a bit out of practice. Right. Let's go. Didn't realise there was a DRS zone there. Yeah, it's the ones with the curbs. If you get on them curbs, it spins your car around. That was a bit of a poor corner for me, not going to lie. I'm very, very happy with P3. Very, very happy. My teammates put it as P point P1 as well. Possibility of a half stud double podium here, maybe. It's a bit early days, but to qualify P3, I'm very, very happy with that. McLaren between us both. Uh, right. Let's see what we can get out of this. Into the race itself, which I think was 18 laps. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to getting this circles. I'm trying to find time between recording and editing stuff, but some days I spend more time recording. It 
for example, I've been trying to get a decent video on here now for over two hours. So, you know, but this is coming off as soon as I can. Oh, there we go. Everyone's uh, ready up. So many people's in this race, I wonder. It's going to be around 13, I'd have thought. Uh, softs onto mediums, definitely. We'll see what we can do with regards to the McLaren. But to be fair, he's in a better position than I am. So that is definitely going to hurt... Uh, us to start off with. Just need to make sure our Haas friend in front gets a good uh, escape. Just waiting on one person. Thank you very much. We had an awful start there. Oh, the McLaren's gone round. Whoa! I've just been knocked into. P2 at the minute. They're all crashing behind us. Let's use this as an opportunity to escape. That was a really bad chicane from me. But it's a Haas 1-2 at the minute. I doubt it will last that long. Although he's pretty quick in front of me. Yeah, I'm happy so far. Right, let's go, go, go. If I can hold on to P2, I'd be very happy with myself. Definitely got lucky in that uh, first lap, as it could have been a lot worse. Something going on behind me again. As long as it's not, I don't know if there's safety car on in this, I'm hoping not. Because I'd, again, I'd be extremely happy with a P2 with my teammate P1. It's noticing as well that McLaren is on medium tyres. So that could be interesting. And I know that McLaren is pretty good. Oh! My Haas teammate's gone round. And P1. Well, that's come from nowhere. What happened? That's what I'd like to know. Bad corner there from me. Here I am saying this isn't one of my better tracks and I'm currently running P1. I'm not expecting to hold on to it. It's nice to be up here. I 
I'm feeling the pressure because I'm making silly mistakes. It's been two seconds of me now. Yeah, that's a really bad corner for me, look. Let's see how long we can keep the McLaren behind for. And my only hope is he gets some sort of penalty or makes a mistake. Because I've seen him race. Because I was watching the race before this as a spectator. And he's quick. He's probably the best racer in here. Maybe second best, something like that. Round the corners, honestly. I won't be keeping that McLaren wrap behind for very long if it keeps doing that. Oh, he's been a second now, he's got DRS and everything. I did hope to keep him behind longer than this, not gonna lie. He's got DRS on the straight. This is a DRS area as well. I'm trying to put my car in a position where I can keep him behind. But he's so much quicker. No, get off that curb. He'll get past. No, he's not. If that's straight. Oh, he's here. He'll get me here. Or maybe not. Oh, he's gone straight on. Well, that will keep me ahead for a bit longer. I wonder where my Haas colleague has gone. Because he's no longer on the top five. Has he DNF'd? Has he quit? I'm almost out of battery as well. But yeah, I keep making silly mistakes. I'm under pressure. Because I've not had a P1 victory in a very, very long time. He's back in DRS range. He'll get me here. No, I'm shocked. I parked the car on the inside to make it a challenge for if you wanted to get past. And he'll definitely get me on the straight because I don't have much battery. He's got DRS as well. He'll get past now and he'll bugger off. Yeah, and he's got DRS again there, so yeah, he's gone now. Oh, he just had a lag spike then. That distracted me, that then, his lag spike. Not gonna lie. He 
But yeah, AB Altamari are a strange very shortly. Let's keep doing that. Yeah, is that a mad yeah, that's strange now? He just does not want to get round corners. Okay, we'll pick this lap. It'd be a big mistake now not for me to get um, P2. to mediums. It's a bit better of a tyres thing for me. I was hoping P3 with a pit and get out in front of P4 but that's not happened. He's still in the race then, he's just a lot further behind. Them two are literally playing bumpy cars. They're going to slow me down now, and I'll. Because I've been lapping quicker than these two. Not helpful. Now, I'd expect P2 to pick, but not P3. Yeah, P2 is pitting, P3 staying out as you'd expect. Oh, he's got DRS off him, pitting. It's a double DRS zone, that. I keep thinking it's not, but it is. Well, this is my race uh, <coughs> for the win over with now, so I'm stuck behind this guy. Not quite. Has he just tried to turn into me? Nice move. Good job. He's going to try and use DRS to get back fast. So he gets a double help in the DRS here. That was most likely his last chance. Now I need to start closing the gap to P1 when he picks. going on in the background. Okay, it's summer and it's annoying. And very distracting.
Right, well, <coughs> that's my fastest lap so far. A 120.5. It's not going to be easy really to beat that for my level. But we are slowly catching up to P1. I suspect he's taking it easy because he's got like a 22 second gap. I've nearly got that guy behind me out of DRS zone. Green P, uh, yeah, well, S1, Sector 1. Yeah, now let's try and drop this guy. He's not pitted yet, that guy behind me. So soon he'd be out of my way anyway. <clears throat> when P1 finally pits, this is going to be close, I reckon. Yeah, and that guy has now pitted. So I'm in a race on my own for now. I'm currently running, well that's my fastest lap of 120.5, not the fastest lap overall, P1 still has that. Surely this coming lap P1's going to pick. That guy's tyres in front of me, yeah he's pitting, he's got to be, so I've lost all that time. It'd be funny if he's been there, but I doubt it. Now, I suspect he'll come out just in front of me. Oh no, I'm going to be in front of him. It must have binned it then. He must have actually been it. P1. Again, it's going to be a big ass to keep him behind because he is a faster uh, driver than me, but I'll do what I can. And he's on fresh as soft. I'm on used media. Well, now used mediums so he's going to be a lot quicker come on let's keep going Yeah, look how much he's catching up to me. I'm not going to be able to keep him behind all these. No chance. If I can get a P2, I'll be quite happy with that. We'll see how long we can keep him behind for. And see if my Haas teammate can get into the top five, maybe. Fifth place has got a five second time penalty. Yeah, that guy behind me is just. Oh, hang on, that's P3, it's just set the fastest lap. So I've got him catching me up as well. So this is not a track I'm confident on, but to be fighting up here for the lead, I'm very happy with that. P2 
best part is we're 35 foot four ahead of P5. Jeez, it's about two thirds of a lap behind me. That guy's had a shocker. Not sure you think at one point he was P1. I think this guy will get me on lap 17 unless I make an error, or he does. Oh, that was an error though. Yeah, I'm only doing a 121.3. Nowhere near fast enough. I think he's going to get me this lap, actually. It'd be annoying if it was the last lap, but I'm pretty convinced it'd be this lap. The only hope I've got is he makes a mistake because he's definitely pushing to catch back up to me. He's now in DRS range. You can tell my mediums are starting to struggle because I've pushed him really hard. Oh, he went really light wide then behind. Now my original estimate looks like it's going to be correct, lap 17, probably in the first DRS zone. Right, so it's a double DRS zone, so it'll have me here. I'll defend how I can, but... Not quite got me there as I was expecting. I said my only hope is he'll make a mistake and I don't think he will. Wow. Did he go into the back of me then or Or was it my car snapping out? Don't know which one it was, but I'm surprised I didn't go round. That's no set. Right, he'll get me on this straight now, surely. I was hoping to move all the more than that. Yeah, and it's a double DRS zone, so there he goes. Damn it! I'll have to take a P2. I gave it a try. I gave it a try, but. I just know he's a very fast racer.
Yeah, it's just not the uh, track left to do it. It's annoying because I was catching him up then. Oh well, take a P2. We'll take that. P2. That was close. Where's my t my teammate has ended up all the way down in tenth position. He's had a shocker. So at one point it looked like he was going to win fairly comfortably. And it's not happened for him. He must have made a couple of mistakes. We've had two DNFs. Sort of 14 cars have started. 12 are going to get across the finish line. There comes my team, mate. He's had a shock of a race. Just two left running. And there we go. Right. That's that. A second place. I'm not going to lie, that's more than what I was expecting before they qualified. So I'll definitely take that. I said it was more than I was expecting at the start. Jeez. At least I gave that guy a good run for his money he won. Because it took him a couple of laps to get past me because I was positioning the car where I need thought it would need to be on the corner to keep him behind. And that worked pretty well. Right. Well, that concludes that. Um, how much faster was that guy in terms of lap time compared to me, I wonder? Yeah, I mean, look at the difference to that. He, his fastest lap was almost a second faster than mine. Well, over a second faster, sorry. But yeah, anyway, we are going to wrap up this video here. Big thank you to everyone who's tuned in. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have done, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're a first-time viewer here, don't forget to subscribe and then hit the bell. As that way you'll be notified of any future videos and live streams. And I'll see you in the next one. Nice one, guys.